Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw a pentagon and septagon inside a circle or we can say how to draw any polygon inside a circle. It is called general method for drawing any polygon inside a circle. So first we will draw radius. So first I will draw a circle. Now in my last video we have seen how to draw square, hexagon, octagon right all those polygons inside a circle now in this we'll try pentagon heptagon or we can say septagon also so first we will draw a circle we'll write diameter ab and o this is 80 radius 40 and this method you can apply for all the sums so in this what you have to do you have to first divide diameter into five equal parts because you want pentagon if you want square then you divide into four equal parts if you want triangle then you divide into three equal parts that way so now we want pentagon so we are dividing into five equal parts see take radius one centimeter and cut five times you have to cut equal arcs you can take whatever you want so this is a to five then join phi to b then we'll draw parallel method if you recollect how to divide line into equal parts right in that we have done this method it's more like a boat method where we'll keep the set square we'll give the firm base and then we will slide see this So we got five parts. Now what we need to do, we need to mark 0.2 on this. On diameter AB, we need to mark 0.2. This is very important. After that, you take B to A and you draw arc down. You can cut up also. But I don't have a place, so that's why I'm doing it down. This is point C. Now join C to 2 and extend the line. So this is point P. Then take A to P. Then from P you cut on this side. This is Q. Same way. I will take A to P and I will cut it on down. Always remember you have to cut one up, one down. That way we need to cut arcs. This is S. And from S you cut on this side. R. You could have done it from Q also. You know P, Q, R, S. Clockwise. But it is always advisable to do it one up one down to minimize the error there if there is any error then it will get minimized then join o to p o to q o to r and o to s so you'll get five parts now join a to p P to Q, Q to R, R to S and A to S. So you will get the required pentagon. As I said, this is a general method. So if you want to draw a heptagon or a septagon, then you divide line AB diameter into seven parts. And then again, follow the same procedure. And again, you draw the line passing through two. So that we'll see in the next sum. 
right now i'm going to do it this is radius 40 you need to do dimensioning like this for circle for all those previous sums also make sure that you do radius 20 486 612 now we are going to do 7 9 in fact anything any polygon you can draw inside a circle the basic line is you draw a circle and you divide diameter into that many number of equal parts Now in this case we want septagon so we'll divide into seven parts See I'm writing OAB then I'll divide line AB into seven parts So you cut seven times, then join seven to B. With this method, we can draw parallel line. Again, you cut it down. You will get point C. Diameter AB you take, and from A and B you cut down. You will get C. Then you take C to two. So you will get point P. Then you take A to P, and then you cut one up, one down. See this. Take A to P. You cut it down. then from p you cut it up then from here also you cut it down see so one up one down would be best to remove any error this is q r s t u now join with point o so you'll get required seven parts So we have divided circle into seven parts. Then you join A to P, P to Q, Q to R, R to S. S to T, T to U, and A to U. So we'll get the required heptagon or septagon. Now, same way, if you want nanagon, nine-sided figure, then you divide into divide line AB into nine parts. Right. that way you can keep on doing this for any polygon thank you